You are now watching the most talked about TV show in your city. I'm LB Johnson. And this is your boy, Buck Dangerous. And this is Shut Up and Talk TV. TV. Buck, how you feeling, bro? Hey, it's another week, man. Yes, We're here yes. in the day of the living. Yes. It's all good, man. Man, you know, uh, uh, Halloween's out the way. Uh, yeah. We're, we're in the, you know, November. Uh-oh, you it, know what time that is, Look, bro. man, look. We time to eat good. Thanksgiving, man. Look, time to eat good. It's a time everybody acts like they on a diet, then they realize, dang, why did I start <laughs> right before the goodums? I call them good, the good eats, if you will. Yeah. So, man, it's definitely that time of year, man. It's yeah. a beautiful time. I love it because it's literally, it, 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 I, know, I know this sounds cheesy, but tis the season to give, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, folks hear that and they think, oh, you know, Christmas. But right. no, one it thing. It starts that, now. Yeah, it starts now. One of the things that we do a lot, you know, we, it's close to our heart is, is charity work, man, and yeah. giving back and, and helping folks out, man. And I just love to see, even on social media, bro, I love to see all the, not necessarily the organizations, which I'm, I mean, they do it, you know, regardless. Well, yeah, Because yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a write off for a lot Tax of them. Right -off. But I love to see the individual people that are stepping up, stepping out, right. and putting up posts and, hey, just have a, regular. Regular everyday people, yes, people man. that you know, people that you see, and you're like, okay, they're doing something, they're they giving say, back. Hey, if you got extra coats, right. uh, you got a blanket, man, all of the above, man, I think that's big. I think that's fantastic. It, it's scary. I just, I, I got up this morning, man, to take, you know, uh, my godson to school. Yeah. And, and, and it's cold. I'm freezing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and you know, got to get warm up the truck and all that good stuff. And I'm like, I just got out of a hot bed, warm bed, warm house, <laughs> hopped in, you know, my truck that's about to be warm. Yeah. And it was nothing for me, but yeah. I'm like, I kids. can't imagine the kids and yeah. adults yeah. that are living on the streets right now well, that don't have that warmth. I'm going to show you, this is something that I call, you know, privilege. This morning, man, I got up and supposed to went to work. Yeah, yeah. I went back to bed, bro. It's too uh, cold, bro. Oh, you said it's privilege? Too cold. Was no, that, that, that's was that black privilege, privilege or was that just hey, buck that's privilege? Just buck privilege. Okay, okay. I got a job that I'm able to call in and say, <laughs> look, I ain't coming, it's too cold. <laughs> look, actually, I think that is that might be a little more of a white privilege. Most black folks call in, it's a wrap. Hey, like, no, no, no. Job is no. over, baby. Nah, man. If you're an experienced caller in or like myself. <laughs> an experienced caller hey, in. Hey, and don't have no kids. Yeah, uh, but anyway. Uh, look, all of them been sick. <laughs> No, no, but okay. no, I, I, you know what I want to do, L? What's that? So we should do this for the rest of the year. Let's try to have some people that are putting out Definitely. and doing things for the community on their own. We don't, we're not talking about big names, just regular old people that we know. We're not going to name names just yeah, yet yeah. because we want to make sure that they do or are able to come on the show. Yes. You know, we know people do coat drives, yeah. free haircuts, stuff like Matter that. Matter of fact, what we'll do, we'll put up a whole post and literally we're called out not the businesses, not no, folks that can afford no. to advertise and market on social media or on regular TV. We want the folks that are literally, you know, uh, moms and pops, if you will. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, the, the one, the underdogs, if you will, that are giving back in their own way. Matter of fact, next week, let's do a whole show. Let's and do just that. have everybody. We'll, we'll give each one, like, maybe a five-minute interview yeah. or something. Tell about their organization. Tell them what they're doing mm -hmm. and how folks can get back. Let's so make sure y'all tune in that next week. Yeah, man. And uh, let's 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 go to another story I want to bring up. Oh lord. And your Raiders, man. They oh did man, a little look, bro. man. Yeah, Raider Nation, <laughs> baby. You see it. Look, man. for, for y'all that don't know, of course I'm a Raiders <laughs> fan to the fullest. I, and I Buck am, is a. <laughs> I am the only Chargers fan in the city that I think of. No, look, I'm lying. I'm lying. We're, there's a couple sprinkles. Actually, we have one in the studio too. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two losers. But look, the, <laughs> the one thing I got to give you props on, Buck, is you're yeah. diehard. You, you, I, you hey, like I am with the Raiders. Bro. You ain't changed up. Nah, you nah. don't went to games. I go to games. And watch them lose that game. Nah, you watch them man. lose on TV. Nah. You pretty much watch them lose anywhere Any, like a real fan. Anybody that knows anything about the Raiders is... Yeah. Before this year, they couldn't tell everybody they was Raider oh, fans, nah, bro. Nah. Look, let's be honest, man. Look, you know, I've been Raider Nation day one, but a lot of folks was quiet. Hey, it's a lot of y'all that had two patches on your eyes yeah. watching y'all's games. Did <laughs> 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 we win? Hey, but the, no, it, I got to give it to y'all, yeah, man. You yeah. know, we, we, we try to make sure we talk sports, and I knew it. I was like, you know yeah. what? I got to make sure, give Ellis props. The Raiders did their thing. They look, actually, you know what? I, I want them to win the division if we don't win it. Bro, it, it was a, it was a, I, mean, I hate to say like a scary game, but only because I oh, knew bro. if you won, I knew what I was coming back to. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. I was in Cali. I'm, you know, I was yeah, out you, the Bay. I went to, see, the bay. Yeah. went to see my son and, you know, see the family out there. And I'm like, all right, we got to win this game because <laughs> we don't win this game. And I got to go back on this show with Buck. It's going to be all bad, bro. So I'm so glad we won, man. Hey, you know, it was the last It was the last nationally televised game yeah. in, in that stadium, unless they go to the playoffs. I yeah, think yeah. they're going. 
We'll see though. We'll see. They we'll doing see. the thing, man. For everybody, I know you're probably wondering what's going on with my finger, man. I'm not trying to be cool. <laughs> I'm not on no Michael Jackson thing. Uh, uh, right. First of all, shout out to George Fisher, Dealing yeah. Clothing. Yeah, uh, we are rocking we, the gear hey, today. We didn't even do this on purpose. Uh, you know, and it's funny yeah. because. You know, of course, this shirt, if y'all don't know what it's saying, it's saying flipping the bird. Yeah. Uh, and it just so happens that my bird has been injured. <laughs> all right? Now, for uh, for the sake of TV, I'm not going to actually flip y'all off. No. Nah. I just see, I'm not hurt, man. Uh, truth be known, man, I was trying to be a chef and uh, looked up, man. Uh, one of Uncle Luke videos came on the screen. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I sliced it, man. Bro, I but, thought uh, you was in there trying to be like E.T. or something, Look, bro. man, I was trying <laughs> to have fun at home. <laughs> You know, so funny. I've never seen E.T. What? Never. Never, never? even cared to see E.T. What? Never. Right, that's like a classic. Never. Never. I don't that's care. Like that, 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 is, that is right along the same line as like Goonies. Yeah. You know, the movies you got to see, bro. I you ain't never, never. never gave a damn about E.T. Yeah, man. E.T. Like, I, I I was hurt for E.T., man. Like, nah. it was because. To, to me, E.T. was like a little black dude. That I was they, about to say that. that, 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 that E.T. <laughs> e. They didn't want to say it, bro, but I think e. Steven e. Spielberg. Burn, man. That's what it was. Like, the little white kids was hiding the little black kids. They went to the hood and yeah. got to a black dude. Look. His name is Eric Thomas, and Bruh. they call him E.T. And that's what it, it was. It, it is the, it's the equivalent of uh, the black boy that they were at the at the Boys and Girls Club yeah. in the white side of town yeah, yeah, when they yeah. find out he know how to play basketball and yeah, everybody wanted him on the team. So that's the why team, they had E.T. Man, E.T. was number the little young black brother e. that everybody wanted him on the team, man. And he was trying, <laughs> he was trying to phone home because, you know, at his house, the phone was cut off. <laughs> I, he didn't have electricity. What did he say? He used their phone? Yeah, man. <laughs> E.T. went over their house for a phone call and they kidnapped him, bro. Ah, that's it's funny. It's a wrap, man. <laughs> and, and, and they also dressed him out like a little girl. Yeah, we ain't going to talk about that, bro. See, I never seen the movie, but I know well, all the stuff. It goes back to how they say every black person, they always try to put us in dresses and stuff. <laughs> they had to put E.T. in the dress. E.T. was an look, accessory, man, look. He was an, He was a cute I'm not going to do the black fist. I'm going to do the black arm. I fall on for you, all right? <laughs> No, nah, man, we're going to have a great show, man. Yes, we're going to yes. have, actually, the next segment, we'll have Emily Rojas. No, but Ashley. 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 Emily, somebody else. Wow, but, uh, you know what? That's the first time I messed up the name. <laughs> Usually it's LB. I love that I got to correct you. You know what's so funny? I got it wrote down correct on my paper. <laughs> Hold on. I, I don't have the paper, but got I it. got the paper. <laughs> but you was trying to go off the cuff. I was, man. <laughs> I was trying to do a great little segue, man. We have Motto, DJ, uh, uh, you name it, she Everything. does it, Ashley Rojas. Woman of all hats. We'll be live on the show, man. On she back note. over there looking like, who the yeah, hell is Yeah, I know right now she's like, got my name all wrong, <laughs> Buck. Uh, in that note, man, let's take a quick break, man. When we come back, man, Ashley Rojas live in the studio. Cut your finger off. Ha! I mean, I mean, where, I mean, where should I, I mean, where, I mean, where should I, where, I mean, where should I really even sleep? <laughs> I mean, where, I mean, where should I really even start? I got drunk, keeping in the dark. I got my neck on the street, living large. Thinking back to the fact that they couldn't put the fingers to the store with the look. Makes you know I'm taking this to me, and you're giving love. Perez Collision Center is a proud sponsor of ProView Networks and Albuquerque Boxing. Perez Collision Center offers expert knowledge on any of your auto body and paint needs. Give them a call today, 505-254-4655, or stop by for a visit at 2415 2nd Street Northwest in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Perez Collision Center. Calling all football players. Are you looking to develop your skills this season? It's never too late or too early to put in the work. Coach Carl Barrera and the Air Barrera program at 8 Grady's Performance Center provide comprehensive position training for aspiring football players at all levels. Whether you're looking to increase your speed, gain strength, or hone your skill, we train all positions with a team of experienced coaches who know what it takes to succeed at all levels from Yaffle to college. Check us out at 8gradies.com to learn more and sign up for training today. Hi, I'm Nathan Smith, owner of Realty Executives Advantage right here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I built my business on honesty, hard work, and the willingness to do whatever it takes to get the deal done. For me, it's not just about the one sale. It's about developing the relationship. Just ask Drew. My goal is to become your trusted real estate advisor. I truly want to be your realtor for life.
<laughs> Live in the studio right now, we have Ashley Rojas. <laughs> Ashley, how are you doing? Welcome to Shut Up and Talk. Hey. How you doing? Yes, sir. Amazing. Uh, we were just watching her, uh, her lovely video <laughs> as you guys see. Too. Wait a minute, LB. Let's, yeah, let's yeah. do it. Because this is Shut Up and Talk. Yes, yeah. So, you know, we try to be professional. Uh -huh. LB asked her the question, <laughs> so who's your photographer? Like, he really gave a damn. That's what, that's what tripped me up. <laughs> Right after I said it, I think you hold it. I'm like, all right, look. <laughs> it was like last thing we worried about a photographer and lighting, but that's a hell of a video. Congratulations, oh, thank lady. you. Doing a damn thing. Yes. Now you you you're a model, mm -hmm. you're a DJ. Yes. Uh, you hold several titles. Real quick, let us know what do you, what, what are you currently reigning over? So I'm currently Miss Youth Tech 2019. So it's my uh, university that I won. Okay, yeah, yeah. My past titles was uh, Miss Teen Earth Texas, Miss Border Cities Teen, and Miss Grand Texas. My lord, my yes, Look, this <laughs> fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what Thank made you, you want to get into like doing like pageantry and, and want to run for these titles? Actually, I was uh, bullied uh, throughout my school years, and I just thought maybe if I did a pageant these people would stop telling me I'm ugly. Oh, so. wait, 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 wait. You were bullied? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, horrendous, like, name-calling. Mm -hmm. I was shoved in the hallways. It got to a point where I had to switch middle schools. Because really? Because it was so severe. Wow. Did you go to school without a lot of ugly people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stand there, like, you walked in the halls, everybody yeah. was ugly. Yeah. 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 Not yeah. saying it's okay, but... You know, yeah. You know, she all fine and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, like, for you, getting the pageants and then winning them, yes. is that kind of like your way, like, kind of like, like, na 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 boo, it's like sticking out, like, ah, look at me? Or is it more, was it a confidence, confidence thing for yourself? It was more of a confidence booster. Um, in the process of proving people wrong, I proved myself right. Hmm, okay. And so I wanted to be a voice of change and tell people that people's perception of you does not make you who you are. Yeah. You're the only person that can define yourself. That's that's dope. Um, let's, I want to stick on this bullying thing because we've done plenty of shows when it comes to bullying yeah. and in, in school now. Yes. And we see that you know we're a little older it was different bullying then yeah, yeah now when you have social media and you you bring in not just the people at your school but mm -hmm. the entire world to jump on your back and bully is that something that you went through as well or was it just confined to your school it was just confined to my school because during that middle school age that was like when my space was still popping oh yeah 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 <laughs> but now it's coming to the Wait, point she, where she said middle school we were grown in the end <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad because yeah. like, my space I was like, my space still ain't my So, yeah, okay, so you were in middle school when all of that came about. So yes. you guys were still young enough where it's just confined to your school, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. So being a woman that was that, that was bullied in school, when you hear these stories of, of these, these girls and boys that are bullied and to the point of, I mean, where they're committing suicide and, yes. you know, and, and even uh, I heard one story where it was literally somebody over, like a grown man overseas was basically playing like he was acting like a kid yeah. and was bullying like a, a couple a, a girl and a boy yeah. and the girl ended up killing herself like for you someone that was bullied uh, uh, what, how do you feel like what goes through your mind when you hear about these other stories it breaks my heart because like um, people don't understand their potential mm -hmm. I mean you're at a rough moment at right uh, right now but you know, God places you in different obstacles so you can overcome them. Come on. Now. And people are just in this little secluded area. They don't think they can get out of it, but they can. Wow. Let's let me let me switch gears a little yeah, bit yeah. because we have. I want to get into the DJing aspect yeah, of this. Yeah. Where did where did that come from? Because you know, <laughs> usually you know when you you know we've been around a lot of women um, that are in the pageantry and things like that mm -hmm. but we've never had one Press ball, that's on. what Buck just politely said we've been around a lot of models I we, we, yeah. we, we have we, ain't no we have no, we, yeah, we know a we, lot of models we have but none of them are able to say they're DJs have yeah, we, yeah. Have this we, is true this is so true. that's why I was like okay how did this come about what is that is music your main passion or how did that happen oh yeah I mean my father Juan the Juan just Rojas he was a big time DJ he also <laughs> okay. Is a break dancer, so I grew up with hip hop. Oh, you got all the elements. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, so, true hip hop. <laughs> so growing up, I was playing with the turntables and the mm -hmm. lights. We had really cute pictures of that. So I grew up watching my dad spin on vinyls, and I just wanted to pick it up from there. So he real me, DJing, not yes. pressing buttons. No, uh -uh. Yeah. real vinyls, real scratching. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do the real thing. <laughs> all right, your style. Say something. Oh, yeah. like that. <laughs> so look at that. Look at, that's dope. <laughs> that is dope. Definitely doing your thing now, yeah. and, and actually know what you're doing. Like you're, oh, yeah. you're not lost in there. But like, what's a what's a hot song that's out right now that you love to put into your mix? 
I really like the China song from Daddy Yankee. That's oh, the mm -hmm. one that's like see, that's really that's like reggaeton that's type yeah, yeah. vibe. That's what everybody gets um, to the dance floor with that okay. song. Do What's you think about Saweetie? That's my type. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Elle just went straight ratchet <laughs> with it, didn't you? <laughs> you know what? I love Let's that. get to the ratchet stuff. I love that song for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. Every time I hear that song, I just love to see all the lying ass girls that try to sing that. <laughs> Talking about six figure, that's my type. Uh, Let's oh, look yeah. at your baby well, daddy. Your type just left the methadone clinic. Knock it off. All right, but however, I no, digress. No, so I, so for the DJ, do you receive any kind of like skepti skepticism when they see you as being the DJ? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. You, what, I, how do you handle that? Just like I said before, people's perception of you does not make you who you are. Right, I right, mean, right. I have to step into a field that's male dominated. Mm -hmm. But if they call me out, okay, let's bust that on some vinyls. Let's call you out. <laughs> I, I, you heard that ill style. You heard. Yeah, well, you heard. Battle. <laughs> battle. I think that like because uh, let's be honest, if we if somebody just tuned in, they yeah. they look at you, you look like you definitely fresh out of pageant. So mm -hmm. last thing they're gonna think is man, she's gonna kill them turntables. Right. So like like break it down for everybody when what's the difference from the model Ashley to the DJ Ashley? Right. I guess the modeling Ashley um, is more of like, okay, this is just the front, mm -hmm. but mm. really deep inside, I love music. I grew up with that. I Come mean music now. makes the world go round and mm -hmm. just being able to get people on the dance floor, make them dance, have like those wonderful memories of mm -hmm. having a great time. That's what I love. I got to ask you, top five artists of all time. Uh, top five artists of <laughs> all time. Top five. Rapper, rappers are singers. <laughs> uh, I'll give you singers too. Top five. Well, obviously my favorite is Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Hey, she got pipes. I'll give you that one. <laughs> and so I like Chromio as well. Okay. I like Michael Jackson. He he. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then we go to Bachata. I like Prince Royce mm -hmm. as well. Look, look. I didn't know what you were talking about until you said Prince Royce. I don't know what Bachata. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you mean Horchata? No, I like Horchata. Like that 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, so let us know. So where do you DJ? Where do you where do you spin? Where do you, where can people come see you um, do your thing on your turntable? So I actually got picked up on a radio station in Sacramento with Rhythm 105.9. Oh, let's go, man. I just said that. I was there last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's so go. I got picked up on that, and then actually today I'm going to be on Mix uh, 93 in L.A., so okay. they pick me up on Sundays as well. Wow. Look, man, traveling, there man, SAC, go. L.A., Albuquerque, man, <laughs> Look, give me how you do. Ashley, let everybody know if they have more questions or maybe they want to book you for DJing yes. or see you do your modeling thing. How can they get in touch with you? you know, through my Instagram, uh, 2 Sexy Ashley. It's a number two, and then Sexy Ashley. It's very catchy. <laughs> Just send me an email. The number two. <laughs> <laughs> I got you locked in there. Hey, man. <laughs> Ashley, thank you for coming on the show, man. I really appreciate you. It's, I think it's dope, especially to see someone that's uh, beautiful, but not only beautiful, but you actually have some talent. Right. You go behind that beauty. That's big. There we go. Thank you. Most definitely, man. Let's take a break. When we come back, more Shut Up and Talk TV, y'all. DJ L Style, take us out, sir. <laughs> This one made me feel all special. Well, I'm going to the frontier, walking to the cashier, order up a root beer and a number one. Cover it with green stuff, one scoop is not enough. Find a booth is real tough, back by the Duke. Meet my family, meet my friends in the quirkiest restaurant I have ever been. All of Albuquerque's favorite spot It's the Frontier Restaurant Get up. 
Stuff for East Style, East Style, Ill Style. Doing the damn thing, man. Look, okay. Look. Yeah, look. Ill Style had to remind us why he the DJ. Okay, man. Look, you about to have a party up in this bad boy. We are back to this Shut Up and Talk TV. Uh, you know, we we are honored and privileged to be a part of ProView Network. Yes, Pro we View are. Sports Network, yes, that is. Yes. And of course, we always like to bring uh, uh, sports stories when we can. <laughs> you know, Shut Up and Talk is not a sports uh, a show. However, when we hear a they great sports story. They love for us to sprinkle it yeah, in the show. Yeah, there this, we go. This one definitely will not disappoint. Uh, <laughs> I got to shout out to Lobos. Amazing team. You know, we're out here in New Mexico. Uh, 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 they do great things, you know. Uh, but sometimes they fall short. <laughs> Uh, a story came out about, I want to say maybe two weeks ago, yeah, a weeks ago. Uh, where I guess a young lady, woman, excuse me, was walking to her car and uh, uh, I guess uh, 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 she had a fan, which is kind of interesting because normally Lobos are the ones with fans, but okay. she had a fan okay. that was a Lobo. Now, allegedly, okay. she's walking to a car. She says uh, uh, a car drove past her two times, literally one time, second time, third time, they stopped. Mm -hmm. They rolled down their window. They said, hey, excuse me, Miss Lady, could you come here for a minute? She walked over to the car when she got close to the window. She leaned in. The, the person literally asked her, could she stand there for about 10 more seconds? And she said when she looked down, she recognized that the person was um, in the midst of trying to relieve himself, if you will. Oh, wow. To her face, to her. Uh, whoa, whoa. So he was using her as a muse. Yeah, there you go. Great word. Muse. Oh, yeah, he was okay. definitely inspired. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, and commits to Lily, of course, once she seen what he was doing, she uh, jumped back and come <laughs> to find out it right. was a, a, a Lobo player. So it was the starting quarterback, as yes. you can see, for the UNM Lobos. Yes. Uh, going off the way he's throwing that pass, <laughs> he didn't need 10 more seconds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he was this, going for the end zone right there, bro. This, this is what gets me, bro. They say literally, okay, we've yeah. all seen fine women. Yeah. We've all seen some beautiful women. And I'm sorry, but the and they're, they're, them, they're, look, we talk our noise, but there yeah. are plentiful, beautiful women yes, in Albuquerque. Yes. And one of the biggest things we, you know, we, we, when you see a beautiful woman, you're like, man, right. she's fine. And, you know, for some men, if you're single or whatever, you might be like, man, I wish I could have her. Right. But only a few special nuggets go one step further. I, that's I, no, that's a couple of steps. Yeah, brother, yeah, he that's jumped, a whole nother street over there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but he literally I mean, I can't imagine that, and I'm sorry, but the person came to mind was what did she look like? Because for him to be driving, bro, and you like, well, <laughs> oh, you know, so you he, might he threw I, it in part. We've all done that. We've all reversed and maybe looked. OK, thanks. She fine. Mm -hmm. You might go get the number or something. Right, right. But he th he literally drove, seen it. Damn, she fine. Yeah. Drove again. She's still fine. Yeah. Third time, man, I got to get this off. And just, <laughs> I gotta get this off. And, then, <laughs> and what made it worse is, I'm, as it's one thing, imagination, man. We get, right. you learn as kids, imagine what you want. So as you get older, your imagination turns into fantasi fantasies, and that's how you kind of live out what you can't have. Look, man, I've never seen a woman that gorgeous. Come on, bro. Me just be like, I need to do but, this now. Well, like, here's what's worse. <laughs> it's already yeah. bad enough. It's bad enough that he decided that he was trying to relieve himself right. in the car. This dude said, hey, I he, can't do this by myself. He brought her over Bruh. to the vehicle Bruh. and said he needed 10 and more asked seconds. Her, and they said, she said it was like, and they said, now, mind this allegedly. Right, right. But according to, and the police said they already looked at the video. This is why he was, he got arrested. And it was, was his vehicle. Yeah, and it, it was his vehicle. License they, plate. They see her walking to the vehicle. They see her look in. They see, you know, some, you know, kind of shakes up and she walks away all fast. And she went straight to the police. Man. My thing is, bro, this is where I say, bro, got some issues. Cause yeah. I'm sorry, normal, you know, normal folks might, like I said, you see something fine, you might get a number, you might fantasize about her later at worst, man. but you're not going to pull it, man, can you help me? Basically, like, hey, I need your help finishing. Now, he, gives and, a, he gives a new meaning to what QB stands for. <laughs> but it's supposed to have a quarterback. What do you say, Sam? Quick for? beat. Dang, bro, look, look. <laughs> In 10 seconds, they're tired, like, yeah, bro. <laughs> It's a hell of a quarterback, man, man. Come on, bro. Look, all jokes aside, yeah. I know high school <laughs> quarterbacks that can, you know, can yeah. pull women. 
You are a starting quarterback look, for a Division look, One bro. college. Look, I got, why look. are you in your car? Come on, bro. Being the creeper in man. In a parking lot. Being the creeper man. This is my thing. We know Lobos. We rock with the Lobos. Yeah. Been rocking with it for many years. You know, the homeboy Bruno. We rock, we, 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 we rock with the Lobos. Yeah. Nothing against the Lobos. No. I, I'm sure most of y'all probably embarrassed by this dude's actions. <laughs> and then some of y'all might not be because I'm sure if he doing stuff like this, he definitely did some weird stuff. Yeah, in, in, he's in, done in, some crazy. In the, in the, whether it's in the uh, 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 locker room room yeah or during the game I don't know but this is just bro like you have everything we... you are a star quarterback for the Lobos you see a beautiful woman you decide you got to finish your business and I don't know maybe maybe he was that cocky nah, or maybe he thought man. he's out of his mind bro but you know but he's out of his but, mind you know, I'm trying to think, if, what this, would is, make if him, this is true yeah if it's true let's can we bring that the picture back up let me see him, that picture him? man that picture, bro. That tells a lot. Look, we can tell. Look, this this bruh. picture tells me he was going for the end zone, baby. Look, bro. Look, that is not a first and ten second pass right there. I think he just that he is first and fifty. He I think the he, whole, he, he, he needed, needed the, the field lot, goal, bro. bro. He needed the field look, goal. Look. He didn't want to wait. Uh, he went with a quarterback <laughs> sneak uh, and an assisted play. I'm mad. You see how you see how stiff his wrist was, bro. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a wonder he's still alive after right. the 10 seconds, bro. All right, so, all right, so let's say this. I'm like, glad he didn't have no sticker on his hand. You know, we always hear about like sex addicts <laughs> and things like that. So yeah. let's say if this is true, yeah. and let's say he really has a problem. Mm -hmm. Like, is it one of the situations where it's like he just, like he had to, he had to get, get that release, so to speak. Yeah. And he's like, look, man, she's here. Uh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Could you help me finish? Oh like, God. was he polite about it? Did he say please? Now I see why they be saying blue 42. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> blue 42. <laughs> bro, come on, man. Hey, y'all will get that a little later. When it's all said and done, <laughs> keep it in your pants, bro. That makes no sense to me, man. Yeah, that that yeah. right there, I'm glad that they took him off the team. Yeah, yeah. Because, shoot, the way he going, he going to be in the huddle doing bruh, this. Bruh, <laughs> look, I'm sorry, but I can only imagine his next career, and it definitely won't be as a sportscaster when he leave here, man. That dude, that's, bro. Well, he is good around microphones, like, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, Lobos, let's do better, man. Let's I hope do that, better. Hey, I, I hope we get to air this segment. Yeah, look, yeah, really, though. There's a lot of good innuendo in, in there. <laughs> On that note. <laughs> yes. Hey, man, this has been another great episode of Shut Up and Talk TV. Yes, I'm sir. L.B. Johnson. And this is your boy, Buck Danger. Hey, he'll stay. I'll take us home, baby. <laughs> Did he play? <laughs>